College to K through 12, many school districts will start their classes a little less than a month from now. With the number of COVID-19 cases on the rise once again, WEAU's Maria Blau shares what public health officials are recommending for students. In Chippewa County, the number of new COVID-19 cases went from nine two weeks ago to 59 new cases last week. Now, the county is reporting nearly 100 new cases so far this week. The increase is driven by the highly infectious Delta variant. The variant is known to be 200% more transmissible and is spreading more quickly than any other strain of the COVID-19 that we have seen during this pandemic. That puts Chippewa County in the high level of community transmission for COVID-19, according to the Centers for Disease Control's criteria. With a new school year around the corner, the health department is following the CDC's updated mask guidance. All teachers, staff, students, and visitors of K-12 through schools should also wear a mask indoor regardless of vaccination status or transmission status. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services, along with the Chippewa County Department of Public Health, support those recommendations. In a letter to families on Tuesday, the Chippewa Falls Area Unified School District says masks will be optional to start off the school year. Masks will be required on school buses until at least September 13th because of two federal mandates from the Department of Transportation and Homeland Security. Besides masking up, Health officials recommend getting the vaccine. They say vaccinated students are less likely to miss school. In Chippewa Falls, Maria Blau, WEAU 13 News. We reached out to the Chippewa Falls Area Unified School District to see if today's health department update will impact mask wearing this school year. No one with the district was available for comment.